All right, once again, another review coming up just for you. This time around, we have from the Singha Corporation, Leo Beer, Thailand's very own Leo Beer. Now, this is a 5% bottle, product of Thailand, etc, etc, imported, apparently. 330 ml bottle, I'm sure you can get big ones. Um, and like I sometimes do in videos when I can actually be asked is you know sort of like give you a few details as to what's about it do a little bit of research this time around is one of those lucky evenings where I actually have done my research this one is obviously the old beer from Thailand and it isn't just any local beer from Thailand it is the number one Thai beer in Thailand. It's not the biggest beer in the world from Thailand. It's just the biggest beer in Thailand. That's made by Thai people. If you know what I'm saying. It's like, it's, it's Thailand's biggest Thai beer. Not Thailand's biggest beer. Not the world's biggest Thai beer. It's Thailand's biggest Thai beer. It's basically tried and tested and liked by the locals. That's all you just need to know. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, <clears throat> and, and, and that actually bodes well because it's like one of those chippies, you know, where you go into a chippy, like, I mean, would you, or like a restaurant or something. Would you go into a restaurant, like a Turkish restaurant, if in a Turkish community, if no Turkish people went into it? You wouldn't, would you? Because you're like, well, the locals don't want it to do it. So why should I want it to do it? But would you go to a Turkish restaurant in a Turkish community where all the Turkish people actually went to? You'd go in there, wouldn't you? Because you'd like, well, if the Turkish people are obviously trying and testing this place and they're giving it rave reviews, I'm sure I will feel the exact same way when I go in there and stuff my face to. This is how I reckon the culture is around this as well. Yeah, so apparently this also, um, it, um, it won a award in 2018 as the most trustworthy company in Asia. And which is, it, it really does actually give a, a good idea about it. It's, it sort of gives a good steady, it sort of, it gives a good view of Thai people. It kind of kills the untrustworthy stereotype that some have. And by some, I mean, when I had a bad experience with a Siamese cat one time, I was eight years old, I was having a plate of fish fingers and the fucker stole one off me. That actually happened. But yeah, um, these guys are trusted, unlike the fucking Siamese cat who stole me fish finger. These guys are apparently alright. Um, one thing that kind of irks me though is the fact that it's called Leo. And Leo is often associated in astrology with a lion. So you'd expect it to be a lion as a mascot. But hey, look at this. It's a fucking leopard. What the fuck? Why don't you just put a lion on there? It's, it's, it makes sense. Put two and two together. Leo, lion. Bish, bash, bosh. Bob's your uncle. But no, they're like, nah, fuck, let's just put a leopard on there instead. It's just like, fuck everything up. Uh, and my last bit of research, which I did, was to find out what the ingredients are, which was a bit of barley, a bit of malt, Maybe a little bit of that, but also a little bit of rice, specially cultivated Thai rice that was thrown in there. And I'm hoping, I really am, hoping that I can taste it because then you'll know you're drinking something truly authentically Thai that other Thai people really, really like. 50% of the Thai market shared as far as beer is concerned. That says a lot, speaks volumes. Nonetheless, I'm not going to speak anymore about the research. I'm just going to put this into me exact angle. See what it looks like, see what it sniffs like, and then have a good little taste. Okay. Bottle tops. It's all right. Could be worse. Could be better though. So, I'm not sure if this is even fitting those after. There's only really a wee bottle in it, so. It's, it's already starting to fizz out at the top as it is. So, let's get this out. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's, it's filled up most of the glass. Three quarters. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Could be a lot worse. Um, it was a two-fingered head, now it's sort of one. 
say that very quickly. Carbonation, moderation. Uh, so we know that uh, it's quite a pale, quite pale. Uh, yeah, it's quite a looks alright. So let's have a sniff, sniff. See what whips it gives. Have a waff on this one, shall we? Here we go. Uh, yeah. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like um. Have you ever been on a motorway and you drive past the fields and they've like released compost in there? I'm getting that smell. And that's. It's, it smells like cigar smoke and, and old man bitter farts. You know like when old men drink mounds and they sort of like fart in the pub and you can like smell it from one end of the pub to the next. Well this is that combined with cigars. A little bit of compost. All in all the smells aren't very good. Let's give it another shake. Maybe I can release something that isn't disgusting onto my nose but... I'm not holding my breath. Though I should be because then I won't have to smell it. <laughs> yeah, bit of a shake, got a bit, got a bit more malty this time. And then we just reverse it back to shit again. Okay. Well, I don't have high hopes anymore. Uh, I know what it looks like. I know what it smells like, unfortunately. Let's just hope it tastes better than it fucking stinks. Bottoms up, and up your bottoms. Here we go. Um yeah, that's, I don't know. I didn't get much. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I've got a bit of sickly sweet. The faintest malt taste. This is just fucking, it, it just feels like, it, it, it is ultimately, it, it feels watered down, that's what it feels like. And then I get this swallow, which I could best describe as like, it, it's, it's just like, it, it tastes cheap, you know? It's like something that you, it's, it's something that you get from a bargain bin, well that, that's the aftertaste I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, it's like, it's a sort of bitter, kind of stale taste. It's not stale, because it's best before 11th of the 9th, 21. It's only May right now, it's not like September. So, it hasn't gone stale, it just feels like it has. I don't, I don't, no, I'm, I'm not feeling it, you know. Yeah, it's, it's Thailand's number one Thai beer, but it's not mine. No, I'm not liking this. I've had way better. I've had way better indeed. Fuck off, that's way. So I'm doing me photo opportunity for the thumbnail, is it? But now it's. I mean, it's it's kind of like. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just. It's it just tastes cheap. It's like something that you drink and you just think, well, fuck it. I'll. I'm I'm on a budget here, living on the breadline. I don't want to get drunk, but I don't want to spend too much money. Buy this. You'll get drunk off it, I'm sure, but you won't have a great time doing so. You'll just sort of. It, it, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm barely even halfway through it, and I'm already struggling, because I just. It's. You, could, you couldn't do like more than like six pints of this and have a good time. And if you do, you must be a masochist, because it's. It, it's a sickly sweet. Unnecessarily chemically horrible 
stylish aftertaste is a tiny hint of malt. That's the only thing I'd describe this because other than that, there's nothing to it. It's, it's watered down blag. I've had better. I really have. So yeah, um, I'd, out of 10, I'd give this a, I'd give this a three. <laughs> three out of 10. Nonetheless, that's the end of the video. It concludes the review. Hope you have had a better evening than I've had right now. Um, take care. Signing out. More reviews coming up very shortly.